What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Seven Beats and today I'm going to show you how to create an emotional Emma Piano beat in Apple Studio. So let's get right into it. This beat will be an emotional one. So for Emma Piano, I'm picking a BPM of 113. I'm going to start off with an emotional melody. So first we have to pick a synthesizer. So I'm going to use Purity. So I'm going to select the Piano tab and I'm going to pick a preset. So I found this Digitime preset, this one. And I'm going to start off with a simple melody. So this would be the root notes. I'm going to duplicate this one. So I'm going to turn this one down one octave like this. Go to the E right here. So I'm going to make an adjustment to the chord progression. I'm going to add a note in between. That's fire. And F sharp. Something like this way earlier. That's fire. So I'm going to duplicate this one and make an adjustment to the second part of the melody. So I'm going to play this part. This one has to go up. And also turn this one up. And I also want to make an adjustment to this note. So we want to make a reference to this note in the melody. So this is the final chord progression and I think it's fire. So I've made some adjustment to the velocity of the notes. Right now it sounds way softer. Really fire. And right now I'm going to add a second melody. So I'm also going to add purity. And I'm going to add a flute, which I think would go really well together. I'm just going to use this really simple pen flute. The root note is this F sharp. So I'm going to reuse this one right here. And the other root note is this E this one. And that's how you can add some melodies just really easy. Just reuse the notes you've already added. So this will be the flute. And this will be my purity chord. So I'm going to link both to the mixer. So I'm just selecting a random one. So 20. And I'm going to use this EQ right here. So I'm going to cut out the low frequencies from the chord. I'm going to remove the high frequencies from the flute. So I'm going to use this EQ2 from Fruity and select type. And I'm going to select low pass. Play around with the knob, this one.
add another one. Just add some more reverb, add some decay. So right now we're gonna add the shaker loop. So I'm gonna paste my chord progression and melodies into the playlist. So right now I've dragged in some samples which will be available in my new Emma Piano sample pack which is coming really soon. So I'm adding this shaker loop. Ready fire. And then I'm layering this one with another shaker loop. This one. Also really fire. So we're gonna link those two elements to the mixer. I'm going to select 10 and 11. And I'm going to turn down the volume. I think those elements go really well together. So right now we're gonna add the kick. So I'm adding this kick, which will also be available in the sample pack. This one is a really deep and soft kick. And I'm going to use this four bar pattern, which is really common in Emma Piano. So make sure the kick isn't too loud. So I'm gonna link this one to the mixer and turn down the volume like this so right now we're going to add another typical sound so we're going to use purity again i'm going to select preset i'm going to select this bassoon fib and i'm going to select the root note which we've used in the previous melody like this Maybe it's you know, it's too long, so I'm gonna select one fourth step. Like this. And also link this one to the mixer. I'm going to add some more reverb and reduce some of the high frequencies. So it's really in the background, but still adding the vibe. So I'm going to use the reverb too, adding some more decay. And last but not least, we're going to add the lock drum. So I'm going to use DX10, and I'm going to select my preset, which will be available for free. The link is in the description. Using this preset. This one. That's really fire. Turn this one down in volume. So I'm gonna reduce the volume on this short note to add some more bounce. Some more attack. So I'm gonna play around with the in it. This one is moving as you can see. Some more bass by adjusting the time. And I'm going to make an adjustment to the envelope.
And last but not least, we're going to add around 10% of swing. So that's how you can create a really simple Emma Piano beat from scratch. So make sure to download the free FOP or stems. The link will be in the description because I'm doing a contest where you can win one of my sample packs. So the total bundle, so make sure to participate. So the only thing you have to do is just finish this beat the way you like it, but it's still recognizable and send me the final result. So make sure to send me the final result before September the 26th. And a week after I will create a video where I'll review your beats and reveal the winner. So I hope you guys enjoy creating a beat with the stamps which I've already created and I'm really looking forward to your results. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also make sure to participate into the contest. So make sure to download the free FOP or the stamps. The link is in the description. And see you guys in one of my next tutorials.